Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cold Banker Dean Harp Realtors. Well, I just finished a motorcycle tour of the community of Meyer Ranch, and today I was doing a video tour of a spec home. One of my clients might be interested, and I went to the furthest back part of the community, and I was like, wow, I should have included this on my motorcycle tour. So I am now. Let's go for a ride, a realtor ride. All right, we're gonna start off at the where I kind of ended up yesterday with the model homes toward the back of the community. So you see the flags, those are the model homes. That's gonna be Brightland, Chessmar, uh, David Weekly, and Perry, and Highland. They're all back that away. But while I was shooting the video for a spec home that's available, I saw a section I did not include on this video. So I wanted to add that now. And that is by going left and going back further into the community. These are gonna be the, uh, a lot of the stuff I shot in the first video were the 45 foot lots. And now these are gonna be the 55 foot lots. And more lots are gonna be still coming, uh, the larger lots as well, because I think David Weekly is gonna have some of the larger lots in here. <clears throat> but I wanna show off this section back here because some of these lots were quite impressive especially if you're looking to build from dirt it's like wow that's that's pretty awesome there's some new stuff coming in from there i don't know exactly what those are but what you see here those these are the perry homes this is like the little perry section back here but yeah you can have some nice views back here so let's start with the perry homes where they're building their inventory homes and a lot of these homes are available right now to be sold this one in the corner that is the 2776 plan that's one i just did a video tour of that i think might be a good fit for one of my clients but they also have other homes out here you can see this house here with the gentleman waving at me that home is available uh, but yeah, not the bestest of views because eventually there's gonna be houses up on the tops there More Perry homes coming in on this side of the street But yeah, a lot of these spec homes are available And these are available lots that you can purchase and build on But these aren't the wild lots that I was talking about the wild lots are around the corner here Big rock. You can see there's a lot more going on back this way. And uh, yeah, there's, they're gonna be building out for a while. Some county appraisers. All right, look at the views. I mean, they got some old, old uh, building there, fenced off, a little historical building. But you can see this road's gonna continue on. But we're back at the main Meyer Ranch Road. But wow, check out these lots. Uh, this is someone's ranch back here that's not going to be built on. So the benefit of that is if you got these lots, you're going to absolutely have nobody behind you. So uh, I believe most of these lots are Perry, some are Scott Felder. But wow, these are some awesome lots to be able to build a production home and then still have like all that right behind you is pretty cool and you can see these Perry lots are still available I'm sure there's some type of lot premium on them but just because they are so awesome but the fact that they're available and that's pretty cool so I just wanted to show add on a little bit to uh, what's going on out here in Meyer Ranch and I know I'm doing a lot of Meyer Ranch videos lately but uh, that's the way things go when a new community expands and I start doing one video and there's still like three more model home videos I'm going to do out in this community um, but there are some other communities that are just getting opened up and I'll be hitting those as well too but also um, it, this house this place is only a, a 15 20 minute drive from my house so of course it's easy for me to come out here to so I'm going to do these videos for you and now we're back to the street that leads, no, oh, we're not to the model home street just yet. This was the furthest back that uh, Meyer Ranch had. 
let's go ahead and look through here um oh i didn't talk about the last video of hoa fees hoa fees in this community are six hundred dollars a year that's a year not a month i've had a lot of folks come from uh, the west coast and they've been blown away with like wait a minute a month and it's like yeah no we a year sorry okay these are brightland homes uh formerly Guillen homes these are going to be on well some of these look a little bit bigger than uh, 45 foot lots um no uh, they still might be 45 foot lots bella vista sells out here too and along with their higher end uh, version uh princeton homes but as you can tell these houses have been out here for a little while this is not the newer section so uh yeah i always like uh, a little bit larger lots versus uh 45 Oop, there's a highland home available a couple highland homes available and now we're coming up to where i ended the video last time which is the amenity center that opened up this summer well at least to give you a better feel of uh what this community looks like compared to the short one I did last time. Well, let's go a little bit longer. I haven't been down this road yet either, but that's the amenity center. I believe this is going to go all the way to the side gate, which backs up to, uh, or sides up to Vintage Oaks. Well, this does give, uh, give you a better picture of everything that's going on out here at Meyer Ranch. All right, yep, I was right. This goes up to uh, the side here, and if I kept going straight, that puts me right into Vintage Oaks. And if I went right, uh, just on the side of 46, that's where you get the vineyard. That's a really cool place to go hang out at, do a little drinking. Not that, not that I do that all the time. But, yep, yeah, here's a, well, a good place to leave. If you like these videos, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel and share these videos with friends and family. All right, take care now. <laughs> Bye. Not quite done just yet. Uh, one more note. I was talking to a sales rep. In my last video I mentioned if you're 100% disabled you might still have to pay because there's a mud tax out here and she told me she had talked to the county and they're like nope if you're a 100% disabled vet you do not pay any taxes even in communities that have a mud tax on it so this is coming from the sales rep I personally have not talked to the county about it but I just wanted to pass that on to, um, and she also brought a good point uh, because we do have so many 100% able vets that have moved here. She's had nobody complain about, hey, I thought this was going to be zero property taxes and now I have to pay the 0 .05 because of mud. No one's mentioned that. So I think it's safe to assume that, yeah, if you're a 100% VA disabled vet, the no talk property taxes do kind of stack on top of uh, no. Uh, includes the mud tax okay hopefully i didn't confuse you too much there all right talk to you soon <laughs> bye